Hello, I hope you are doing good. In this video, I am going to tell you about how can you create a line chart with the error bars on it. Okay, so error bar is something which represents the deviation in that particular value. For example, I have three samples over here, and on the each sample, I have done some some testing. Okay, it can be anything, and you can see when we do three trials on the same sample, we get different values: three fifty, three ten, and three fifty five. So how to show this variation on a graph and that is usually shown by a error bar so how to do that how to find the standard deviation this is all we are going to see in this video so without any further ado let's start the video so for now i'm going to take this data and to a new sheet so i'm just going to press control v so we got all the data in order to plot a line graph with error bars we need to first find the average value and the standard deviation to do that first let's name this as average and i will name this as stdev which stands for standard deviation to find the average it's very simple you can just come to the home option and under here you can find average option this is one way otherwise we can write the formula as well so press equal average Okay, this option, and then you can select the range. So, close the bracket, hit enter. You can see we now got the average value. Stretch this into the next column, so we get the average value there as well. To find the standard deviation, we have to use the formula called equal to sign, then STDEV. So you can see it is here. Hit tab, select the numbers, and hit enter. So you got the standard deviation as well. good so now let's move on to the plotting the data so we'll come to the insert tab and we'll select the data okay so sample 1 2 3 and the average value remember now these values are actually not required so we have to select the sample 1 2 3 and uh, keeping the control button press on your keyboard you can just select these three as well come to the recommended charts and uh, in case you want to go for a a bar chart or a column chart you can go but for now we are going with a line graph so i'll click okay and we got the chart i will quickly do the post the processing required to bring the graph to this stage in fact you want to learn how to do that you can check the i button on the top right corner let me just quickly format the chart so that it looks good so i will delete this i will select the chart i will change the font to somewhere around 12 change the color to black font type to arial good and uh, i want the axis titles also so this also i will name as let's say it, these are some hardness results okay it can be anything hardness and some units so i'm going with hv hv and this title Anyway, if you feel anyway, so sample one, two, three. So if it is not required, you can just delete this as well. It's not a problem. Here, what I'm going to do is I'll just format this. So I'll just right-click, format data series. I'll come here, line type. I will just make it as black. So marker, marker options. I will just give a fill color of black and border no. so markers you can't see in case you want to see that marker so what you have to do is under the marker option marker option you have to just choose built in and then you can increase the size as required okay so now it seems to be good the line type i will change to dash i usually take dash so looks good i will add the axis here so to do that you have to just select this uh axis in uh, under the axis option you have to come to the fill in line option and under the line you have to choose width as somewhere around like 2 or 1.5 anything is fine and make sure the color is black the same goes here as well so black color and uh, 1.5 okay so we are kind of getting the shape but let's just move further so how to add access uh, how to add the error bar on this so select this line you can see there is a plus icon over here and you have option called of error bar okay so you got the error bar but the data doesn't seems to be correct so 
to do that just select the one of the error bar right click and format error bar now it is calculating standard error and which we really don't know how it's calculating so but we need to give our own value that is the standard deviation so click on the custom and click specific value under the positive delete this okay make sure it is empty and select this and same in the negative as well select these three and click ok and you can see we got the error bar now the error bar is not visible well so select any of the error bar come to the fill option and under the line you can increase the thickness to a good extent and make sure the color is black so now you can see it is visible now there are few more things that you can change with the bars so you want both side you want only the minus side you want the plus side you want cap okay so in that case let me just show you let me just zoom in here so for example you are doing both side and you don't want that cap on the top right so it's this all things you can just vary and with this you can see we were able to plot the graph so with this tutorial i hope now you know how to find the error in a given data and how to plot it in excel if you really got something to learn please don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not Thank you.